down the shift key. I'm doing this with the transform tool, by the way. Free transform tool, that is. Okay. Okay, so, um, and then I'll rename that. So that is sunset, okay, on the top layer and water lily on the bottom, okay? Now, the way this could work is that um, we could have the water lily here first and then, then the um, transition from the water lily to the sunset. So at first we're going to see the lily, water lilies, and then we're going to see the sunset. Okay, so how's that going to work? Well, it works like this. All I have to do is double click on this paper symbol right here on the iris and make that a mask. Okay, see that? Mask. So I just double clicked right here on this little paper and make that a mask. Okay, and then the sunset is going to be masked. So I'll take the sunset and make it masked ED and click OK. And notice now that the icons up here have changed from uh, the mask icons are now, instead of just a normal layer, it's now a special layer, mask and masked. All right, and now, wherever the mask is, we will be able to see the masked layer. And to test this out, what you have to do is lock the two mask layers. So I'll put a lock on both mask layers, and you'll see that you don't see the sunset, but watch what happens as it grows. Okay? the mask reveals the sunset. If I play it, you'll see that. So that's a transition, right? So that would be an iris out transition. And how is it being done? It's being done with a shape tween used as a mask. So it's a mask layer, right, as a shape tween. And then the picture that we want to have masked, which is the sunset, is the, um, is the uh, 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 masked layer. Now, I could also do this with the other one too. So I'll show you that now. I'll take this wipe layer and I'll drag it to the top. Okay. And the wipe layer, I'm going to change that to normal layer. Okay. That's a normal layer. I'll change the iris layer back to normal. Okay. So now everything's normal. Uh, iris I'll drag to the bottom and I will turn it off and lock it. Now we've got the sunset, right? And then we got this wipe, right? There's the white. All right. See that? Okay. Same concept. Just double click on the on the white layer where we have the shape tween. Make it a mask. Click OK. The sunset layer. That's going to be our masked layer. Okay. Click OK. Now it's masked. Lock both layers. And now we don't see the sunset until the the um, mask layer. Has uh, occupies our screen. Uh, what we see is the lilies underneath, and watch what happens as we play. It's a wipe, so that would be our transition. Now, what was nice about Richard Shoup's, uh transition, his shape tween, he didn't show you the whole mask thing that comes later. What was nice about his was he tried to keep it in the context of snowboarding. Well, how could you do that? What you could do is instead of using a circle or just a rectangle moving across the screen, you could use uh, a silhouette of an image or something like that. Um, for instance, let's say, you know, went to new layer, get my text tool, right, and change it to uh, a static text, text tool, change it to wingdings, right? Okay, and, you know, type some text. Right, and okay, I like that. All right, I like the bomb. Right, and I just uh, modify. Uh, let's see, modify. Let's see, break apart, breaks it into uh, three symbols or three letters. Delete those two. Now I have one letter. This is wingdings. Right, okay, and I can uh, modify and break that apart again. Okay, and now it's just um, this bomb, and I can click on the little pieces I don't want. Okay, oops, and I can zoom in, right, 
get my eraser tool. Right, and now I could use this instead of a rectangle or a circle as my transition. So now if I had like a, a computer virus theme or something, when you transition from one subject to the next, instead of um, a uh, normal transition, we'd see the bomb uh, growing. And the bomb gets bigger as we transition from one piece to the next. I'll just show you that really quickly. I'll hit F6 here and get my transform tool. Right? And make it bigger. Right? Now the bomb gets bigger. Put my shape tween. Okay. Great. All right. Now I get rid of this. Uh, make it a normal layer again. Drag it to the bottom. So now I've got my bomb. All right. Got my bomb layer. Got my sunset. Need my lilies on top. Sunset, unlock it, right? So these are the three layers I'm working with. Not working with the first two shape tweens that I did. Working with my new one for the bomb. I'll just change it to a mask. Change the sunset to masked. Okay. And it should work now. If I lock both layers, I can see it. All right. Oops, I lost my lilies. All right, where'd my lilies go? They got deleted. There's my lilies. Okay. Um, all right, there's my lilies. And hit play. Okay, and the bomb gets bigger. Okay. And, of course, if we were to play this movie, hit Control-Enter, and that's what it would look like, you know, as you transition from one to the next with the bomb getting bigger. Now if I wanted to slow everything down, I highlight, click and drag, highlight my three layers that I want to make last longer and hit F5 to insert frames and now the whole thing will play a lot slower. Okay, I'll show you one more time. That timing is so important. I'm just going to go F5, uh, oops, I hit F6, Control Z to undo, F5, F5, F5. Right, and now hit Control Enter, and now it's a much slower animation. 